The world's top athletes are converging on Beijing for the Olympics and Paralympics. But how will they do so safely during the pandemic? Here's the gist. At the heart of the COVID prevention strategy is what organizers dub the closed loop management system. Think of it as a giant bubble for the delegations for the entire duration of the games. And it starts before they even arrive in China. Those fully vaccinated require two negative PCR tests before their flight. If they've recovered from COVID-19, four negative tests are needed. But if they are unvaccinated, they'll be subject to a 21-day quarantine in China before entering a closed loop. Beijing Capital International Airport is the only entry and exit point for flight passengers, specifically Terminal 3. With ample testing sites open from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m., Everyone inside the Olympic bubble must test daily for COVID-19. They'll also have minimal contact with the outside world. There are three competition zones, all connected by dedicated high-speed trains. And within each zone, buses will transport folks to every convenience necessary. Cafeterias, gyms, shops, and yes, even beauty salons. But what about the spectators? How will they be monitored? No overseas attendees are allowed, and no tickets will be sold to domestic fans either. Instead, they'll be distributed to invited groups of spectators who must abide by strict COVID-19 countermeasures before, during, and after each event. The closed-loop system is in full swing in place since early January. Stringent and comprehensive, the goal is a safe, successful, and enjoyable 2022 Games. And now, have the gist.